Excellencies, distinguished guests, friends and partners of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, welcome to the Global AI Summit. The theme this year is artificial intelligence for the good of humanity. And speaking about good for humanity, let's revisit some of the basics. If you talk to Oxford, and you can find it on the screen, that artificial actually means something made through a human process. Let's underscore the word human. And if we look at intelligence, it's the capacity to do the right thing at the right time by addressing opportunities and challenges presented through the right context. In essence, this is, as we, the technical community call it, having the right algorithms, the right data sets, and right context. Let's simplify this. Algorithms, in, a, in essence, is all about a set of instructions we feed to the machine. The data is the input, and influenced by a context, you get an output. Let's make sure that this output is inclusive, is human-centered, transparent, and for the good of humanity. Because I would argue that since the Stone Age, arguably AI is the biggest breakthrough that humanity will ever see. And if the digital divide is presenting one of the largest social economic inequality in the world, then the most massive one is going to be driven by AI. And this is why we cannot afford for algorithms to be racist or sexist. I mean, do this experiment right now. Pull your smartphone and do a search for images of both professional hair and unprofessional hair. And you'll be quite shocked to find that the algorithm will suggest that for unprofessional hair, there's a specific ethnic group that will not appreciate it. And for professional hair, it's another ethnic group. This is completely not acceptable. This is why we need to have the right, right data sets, such that when we have autonomous vehicles with autopilot capability, we train them to detect trucks, even when they are flipped to avoid an accident like this. This is why we need to have the right context. The right context such that, and I love this one, this is a leading tech and content company that leveraged machine learning to recommend content. They said, let's pivot to recommending resumes. And unfortunately, the machine kept recommending men because the founders in that tech company were predominantly men. This is why, under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and in partnership with you, the global and leaders and the champions of the data and AI movement, we are here to discuss AI now, next, and never. How we make sure that we celebrate with the leadership and execution and sponsorship of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, this region and this part of the region, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, have become the largest tech force of coders and data scientists with training more than 70,000 trainees in this space. And speaking about women empowerment, can you please join me in giving a big round of applause for all of the women in the room here. These ladies have not only surpassed the EU average, the G20 average, but with 30% women participation in tech, they have surpassed the women empowerment average in the Silicon Valley. So let's talk about what some of these women are doing. It's with the leadership of Dr. Salwa al Hazza that once again, leveraging data and AI with computer vision, we can detect retinas and scan them for early cases of type 2 diabetes, which by the way is named the silent pandemic. It actually kills three times more than COVID-19. And it's data and the data scientists that we have within our national labs that we're able to leverage geospatial data with computer vision to make sure that we stop desertification and random farming and saving in one year, three years worth of water that was wasted. It's entrepreneurs like Ahmed with Sahel that realize within 
urban cities. One of the challenges is in real estate. So what about we bring the context of activity, mobility, and transactions all together to empower you with insights on how you make your next real estate investment, generating more $3 billion worth of value. It's leveraging AI next and the next chapter of how His Royal Highness have made the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia the largest data and AI market from now until 2030. How we have demonstrated to the world the largest use case of data and AI in Industry 4.0, led by Aramco. Aramco, they have the largest data and AI industrial usage. They have leveraged methane sensors with Internet of Things and data and AI to stop flaring and present to the world the cleanest upstream activities. They have an amazing engine, and I invite you to see it today within the showcase, called TerraPower, of how they can crunch data, not only to produce oil at a low cost, but to have the lowest carbon intensity. It's His Royal Highness gift to the world with the line of how we have worked with you, the global innovators and thinkers, leveraging data and AI to deliver the first cognitive city, the line how we can deliver the five minutes livability and walkability, where you can work, live, play, and learn with zero emissions. And these are live examples and proof points of how under the leadership of His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman, this is indeed becoming the epicenter for data and AI. <laughs> AI now, Next, never. And remember, right algorithms, right data, right context. This is why we must discuss AI never. Because once again, let's remind the world under the leadership of His Royal Highness, during the G20, 2020, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia drove global consensus towards the OECD principles of trustworthy AI. How AI must be inclusive human-centered, transparent, robust, with accountability. We cannot afford for algorithms to be biased or sexist. We can't afford for not having the right data sets and the right context. And today, within the Global AI Summit, with sponsorship of His Royal Highness, and with amazing execution of the team led by His Excellency Dr. Abdullah Sharaf, you will see today a lot of magic happening. And join me for giving a big round of applause for Dr. Abdullah Sharaf and the Sadaya team for doing such a fabulous, fabulous job. Before I conclude, in every AI summit, we always get this burning question. Will AI take our jobs? While we may not have all of the answers today, if there's one answer I can share with you with utmost certainty, is that the leaders among you that will use AI will definitely in the future replace those that don't. Thank you so much for your time.